Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. We're the Hustle Couple coming at you today with Monday's What's Sold on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. Uh, Mercari, yes, that coming reminds through. me. Forgot to print that out and pull it. There's two. There's two? You gotta be kidding me. Two of Mercari. Wow. Y'all keep making fun of my faces. I'm gonna do it every time. I'm gonna get close to the camera. For people you. Love it. love it. All right. If you are new here, we have a lot of new people, as in like a hundred. Yeah. Which for us in dinosaur years is pretty great. <laughs> you are in the right <laughs> you are in the right place. We come at you weekdays with information on how to resell primarily clothing, but some hard goods, plush and tampons yeah. in the mix. Hey, you heard it here. Uh, we hope that you tell your friends to come here too because we're getting some some traction and we are here to teach you for nothing other than our own personal pride. <laughs> no, seriously, we don't really get anything from it other than, you know, we went to ship on Saturday. We shipped on Saturday. We shipped 15 things. We did. And it took us 15 minutes. And today we have about 35 things to ship, which is great. And it'll take us seven hours. 17 hours. <laughs> so we're here for you. We love you. Yeah, it we just, do. it actually brings such joy to our life to do YouTube videos. Um, and hopefully you are gaining some insight as well. If you learned something today, why don't you pop it down below? I'm sure you will in our seven hour journey. And <laughs> I really feel like it might take seven hours. We're even wrapping birthday presents today. Oh my we gosh. We got it. Oh. <sighs> hey, what's happening? Okay, I have this shirt for sale in my eBay. I'm not gonna lie to you. Sometimes you gotta test run the merchandise. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. I need to wash it. And I wore it on vacation, you see. You all told me to, and I did. And then I was going to wear it again, and I'm going to wash it after this. Okay. Given it it's fair, you know, if I wanted to keep... I think I don't want to keep it, though, because I keep pulling it down. <laughs> it's a good sweater, though, if you want it. It's expensive, though. Don't buy it. Where All right. It? It's like 150 bucks Dang. on sale. My hair. Let's talk about it. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. I got these labels ready here. I got to find this thing, though. Monday is always the day that my hair is just like the biggest it's ever going to be. So tune in Mondays to see how big my hair can get. All right, I'm drinking the, what is this called, coffee? Oh, dude. What is it? The cold brew? Yeah. The brand is the Chameleon. The Chameleon. It comes in a box just like your wine at Costco <laughs> or Sam's Club or something. Costco. Mm-hmm. And um, this is a Java sock, which I highly recommend. They make knockoffs on Amazon, but support the Java sock people. They were the first and they're the best. Love them. Love iced coffee. Make it at home. Save your money. All right. We sold two on Macari, I think five on Poshmark, and then yes. a million on right. eBay. Give me these two numbers so I can grab our last. So I would just let you know list. that our sales have picked up substantially. I'm going to tell you what we did to do that. Uh, 7297. 7 what? 7297. 7297. Okay, and I got the other one. 6311. Yep. Okay, and I would just like you to know that one of our, we always take your comments into consideration, and somebody told us to go faster and tell less information, and we will not do that. Nope. So if we're not for you, we're not for you. That's cool. We did take it into consideration for 0.3 seconds. <laughs> I just feel like there's not enough information out there, and so if you can do a one-stop shop, put this on while you're working, and learn some stuff, let's do it. Yep. Okay, the first thing is from, uh, we're going to do Poshmark first. Or no, Macari. we're doing the Macari. We're doing Macari first. And this. It's all same stress. Man. Okay, I got this at a Goodwill in Chicago. Yes. Sometimes if you're in a city, just take a cab to the Goodwill. That's what we do. Right. And this is I'll all same. a little thrift adventure. I think it was like six bucks or something. It was pretty cheap. I got it for myself. But obviously it didn't fit because I'm the size of a toddler. So <laughs> this is called the zipper dress or something. And if you hold this up, I want to teach the people a little yeah. something, something. So we know that the difference between a dress like this, the difference between a sheath dress and a shift dress is that a shift dress has no waistline. But this, even though it's made of a zipper, is still a waistline. So this is the sheath dress and the zipper is super cool. Look, it's like all the access. Whoa. So you can 
this is what makes All Saints so cool. I mean, you could just show your stomach if you just wanted to. Okay. It's fine, whatever. Or you could, you know, be pregnant here. I don't know. <laughs> but it's they have these really cool details, and I love that about All Saints. There's also a zipper on the side there yep. that goes, I'm talking all the way down. All the way. So if you just wanted to peel on out like an onion, <laughs> there you go. Uh, this dress is a pontine knit, which is a four-way stretch. It's very thick soft and stretchy at the same time it's a really high quality garment it's sold on mercari for 44 dollars nice. i would love for you to know that um mercari has been picking up in the fact that some of our higher dollar stuff not for i mean 44 dollars pretty hot compared to what i assumed mercari was for all this time and doing all right over there we yeah. sold a 150 dollar pair of pants on friday over there sure and did. a 44 dollar dress I think that's pretty good. All right. Uh, All right. The next is a soft surroundings top, which has been listed on all three platforms as well. And it, oh, I told him how much we had into it. I'm going to spend less time looking stuff up on Vendu, hopefully, because, you know, it takes With some time. With all stress? Yeah. It's 15 bucks. And it was listed a month. I'm just going to give you, you know, approximation. Since we're on a numerical inventory system, we can do that. 6311 are some soft surroundings pants that did not have great photos, I will admit. Yep. Uh, they, the... Here's the tag real quick. There you go. The title is white soft surrounding. I don't know why I started with white. Sometimes I just lose my mind. Soft <laughs> surroundings plus size 2X knit pull on pants wide leg rib stretch. They're very good, good pants, but the pictures, uh, April was just learning how to take photos. She is our assistant and takes photos for us sometimes not currently but sometimes these were listed three months ago december 11th 2022 she started working for us december 1st so these pictures were a little rough a little, a little okay. rough around the edges uh, but they still sold on Macquarie for $27. Yeah, that's all right. I mean, white things are really hard to take photos of. Really, really hard. And if you want to know what I think not a great photo is, I'm going to show you on my <laughs> phone right now. And hopefully no personal messages pop up. See how the... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Amateur hour of yours. See how the bottom was, like, dark? You didn't see that at all. That's fine. Okay, the bottom was dark. They looked a little ombre, if you will. All right, cool. And yep. we had how much into those? 46 cents. Okay. Now, I think this was the favorite item in my entire inventory, and I wanted to keep it so badly. <laughs> what, the Poshmark? Yeah. I have it over here. I love it. This is, I want to tell you about this yeah. dress. This is a dress from Loft, and some things from Loft I buy on style alone, and this is one of them. It's and then 3491, right? Yeah. Okay. And then when I looked it up, the comps are great, and that doesn't happen with Loft all the time, so I would recommend going by style. Uh, color blocking is very in at the moment, again. Yes, it is. This is not a new dress. This is something very special, though. Okay. Uh, okay, you want to hold it up for me? Sure. Okay. This is technically, if you wanted to go with the shift sheath thing, this is a shift dress because there's no waist on it. But mm -hmm. actually, we call this a swing dress or a trapeze dress. Either one will work. Just hold it from the other. There you go. <laughs> uh, it's very, very full. This is called a bias cut. Anything that's cut in a diamond formation across the grain of fabric. So this has three bias panels that are joined together in not complementary colors, which makes this so super cool. Like, if this were just blue and gold, it would have us more of a preppy vibe. But this is a chartreuse, a navy, and a peach. And something about these colors is jiving in just the perfect 70s esque kind of way. And I'm just, I'm here for it. This fabric is decadent. It feels much more rich than it probably is. I don't think this has ever been washed at all. It's polyester, but I'm telling you, it feels like silk. You feel what I'm saying? nice nice and when you walk this thing is gonna like flow with you uh, it's just fantastic i did use a stock photo for this because the stock photo had the wind catching you know the full skirt of the dress it's a midi link meaning it goes to like the calf uh i'm gonna i don't have the title but it's, it's a good one it sold for 40 dollars, which for a loft piece i think i had it listed at 60 it's pretty spectacular yeah i would agree with that Three, four, nine, one. Uh, I I titled it Loft 
color block halter swing dress women's size medium style spring 2020 which is when it was from it says in a loft tag i should have shown you it tells you exactly Sorry. when it was made and it tells you the style in other words it's like the perfect thing this. um <laughs> how much money do we have into it um 6.99 Okay, and that was, and I paid six ninety nine for a lo an Ann Taylor loft dress. That's a lot for me. Uh, October twenty fifth of twenty twenty one, it was listed. So it's been listed a while. I did relist it a month ago and dropped the price. And that's probably I probably had it listed at a hundred to be honest, because I loved it. Sometimes I do that, and then I have to go back and kick myself. The next thing, um, we actually sold two of these. One of them we didn't have, so I did well, we got an offer on it. We didn't end up selling it because we had already sold it. But this yep. is a Peter Millar Summer Comfort. Uh, this has a logo on it of the U.S. Open. That's okay. Yeah. Peter Millar Summer Comfort Size Large Polo 2011 U.S. Open Congressional Logo Stripe. That was this my is title. definitely an older Peter Millar Summer Comfort tag. There you go. But, I mean, as a general rule, I pick up every Peter Miller Summer Comfort shirt if it's, like, two bucks or less. Yeah. This was listed on February 23rd of 2023, so 28 days ago, and it sold for $20, which is, like, pretty much exactly what we get for these 20 or 25 Yeah, I would say 20 to 30 Yeah. is probably where they go, unless, and but there's, I mean, exceptions. There's mm -hmm. a couple of really special ones. Um, the ones that have the Masters logo yep. embroidered on them are really valuable. The Scotty like, Cameron. Like a hundred bucks valuable or more. Uh, and the Scotty Cameron ones are worth up to like 200. So definitely look up your summer comforts. Again though, don't pay too much for them, right? Yeah. Just because it's a summer comfort doesn't mean you're going to get a hundred bucks. We normally get 20 to 30. And that's great though. They always flip. Look, that was a month. We yeah. barely can keep them in stock. So yeah. that's great. And that's from 2011. It was like kind of vintage. Right. Next big is, sale. is a big one. Um, and we have some lessons to learn here. I want to teach you about it. <laughs> we have some fashion lessons and some selling, like how to sell clothes lessons yeah. that we need to say out loud for ourselves. This is from a brand and designer called Brandon Maxwell. You may know him from um, the Heidi Klum. What's the show called? Where they what make clothes. What, Project Runway? The other one? <laughs> yeah, Project Runway. Brandon Maxwell was on there. Yeah. Uh, okay, this is a dress. I want you to get in with um, yeah, the, the texture. This is well, a jacquard. The... There's the there's tag. The tag. It is still... New with tags. Yep. First. And this texture is a jacquard, meaning that there's a raised... It's yeah. There's a little bit of more of a pattern to a jacquard. A damask is kind of similar, but it's a raised pattern. But this is definitely a jacquard. The title was Brandon Maxwell New Fuchsia Pink Leopard Jacquard Midi Sheath Dress, size 10. So we know it's a sheath because there's no waist. Um, this is a high fashion brand. And we got this from Liquidation a long time ago yeah uh there are no comps for this there are a couple more comps from people who have priced it based on our comp and mm -hmm. i had it priced at a thousand dollars then eight hundred dollars then seven hundred dollars <laughs> uh it was originally listed I just kept kept dropping it uh 10 25 2021 that's interesting because we just sold another thing that was listed the same day uh, weird okay anyway uh, we got an offer for $202 on Poshmark, and we absolutely took it, and here's why. I did not look at that offer as, oh my gosh, this is $500 less than my price. I looked at that offer and said, we've had this for three years, and we have not gotten a single offer on it. On both, any platform. On anywhere. any platform. Yeah. And there's no comps to support my random $700. <laughs> I mean, it was like a $2,000 dress. What was it? $1,500 dress? Something like that. I don't know. The, the retail price is not on it, actually. Um, I think it was 1500 because I just remember that. That sounds, that sounds about right. The value of a... Re Listen to what I'm about to say. Listen like, up, people! The value... And I'm saying this to myself. The value of a resale item is what someone is willing to pay for it period in two years of being listed someone was willing to pay 202 dollars i'm making a sick profit on it i'm okay meaning i think we paid 30 for it 
we don't do liquidation anymore. This is a high-end dress that's just sitting here collecting dust when someone on the planet can be out rocking this thing and looking fabulous. Pink is still trending. It's been trending for like three years. This fuchsia color, it's still on. <laughs> it's still working it, but who knows if next, what if fuchsia becomes out? Right. And then I'm losing, I'm not losing $500. I'm losing the $200 that someone was willing to pay for it. Right. All right. So there we are. All right. So this thing is, did sell on Poshmark, so I can ship it in any priority packaging I want to. Since they did pay 200 bucks for it, I'm going to put it in a box. And since it's potentially a $1,500 dress. Put I it think in I have box. the MSRP in the description. One moment, please. Yes, $1,595. See? There you go. It was made in the USA. It says on the tag, made in New York, New York. Um, a hidden back zip. But listen to what this dress is made of. Polyester, nylon, and silk blend. I mean, it's it's a okay. nice designer dress, but it's not made of, like, gold. <laughs> right, right. It's not fully silk. You can make a fully silk jacquard. Ask Eskandar how you do that, because they do it. And that Eskandar, if that piece was Eskandar, would be worth, like, $10,000, right? So you have to take into account what it's made of as well, I think. Polyester right. does... Hey! Hey! Polyester does have shelf life though it will keep that dress looking newer longer okay. yeah, yeah it's not all bad he's trying to hurry me along well, i'm sorry i was just ready to go to the next one i see that <laughs> six three six six this is a good lesson in selling lingerie yes pick this guy up at the bins we have mm, it says 2 dollars okay so i probably bought it at the thrift then yeah. are we gonna go to the space i don't know where did i get this i have no idea but of course i got this uh, this was listed December 20th of 2022, so it's been listed about three months. And you're like, okay, this is just a granny nightgown. It is, okay. And it is, don't, but it isn't? Yes, don't okay. pick up everything that looks like this. Can you show them the tag? Um, there should be tags in there. Are you sure? Unless I go, yeah, yeah. Aha, aha, yes. 100%. All right, I'm gonna try. It's very gold and glittery. This is called Lucy Ann. All of these uh, nylon nightgowns that are from the 60s and 70s are not created equal. This one is extraordinary. Okay, it has the, well, it's just a nylon nightgown, but it has these really gorgeous um, lace cap sleeves with some, what is that, a, a floral and bordery at the top. Yep. Uh, this is a designer nightwear brand this peach color is exceptionally desirable the value increases a lot i'm telling you this from experience and because i have a degree in fashion and costume and this peach color is what we put on stage every time someone needs to be in a nightgown it's so freaking flattering and so vintage looking we don't have that peach in modern clothing i mean we do but like in in lingerie it's more of like that tan color and okay. that kind of yeah, thing yeah. this is very telling like you can see sandra d wearing this dancing around the bedroom you know what i'm talking about when they're in their sleepover it's a very very specific color it is the title was lucy ann size large women's vintage nightgown peach white lace sleeve embroidery so remember the color and then remember that lucy ann gold tag it is i'm telling you you guys it sold for 70 dollars yeah what but they're not all equal like you can't just go and get like the bally or whatever is at the thrift like you have to that gold tag is money 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 70 bucks 70 bucks that's awesome all right and then and that was only listed three months i had it listed at 80 and somebody offered 70. see people know the value yeah. um 5692 is champion what did we sell? Champion. No. Oh, Champion oh, oh, Champion system. system. <laughs> this is a biking jersey for a cyclist. It has pockets in the back, and it's from Wells Fargo. Something about Wells Fargo. It's just a Wells Fargo branded cycling jersey. Yeah, it's probably from some kind of race or something. Yeah. It's new at Tags. We sell these all the time. It's one of those things that we almost always pick up for a dollar because they sell so well for us. Yeah. Um, the title was Champion System Women's Size Large Full Zip Cycling Jersey Wells Fargo New. Three back water pockets. I put that in the description. 
and we listed this on July 1st of 2022. I relisted it 26 days ago and it sold for $18, which yep. is just about what all of them go for, 18 to 20. Right. Okay, I'm gonna put this stuff into a bag because We're this is, a... well, this is the end. Right. And this is going to not be There we go. What about this? That goes in there too. Sweet. Okay, we're gonna jam pack this video full of info for you because I hope you're working and learning. And it was one of our better weekends we've had in a very long time. Yeah, that's for sure. Especially Peace. considering we shipped on Saturday. So this is just. So I think we Sunday sold about like 36 between yesterday and now. It's only noon here, so it's still yeah. really early. Yeah. So it's about 50 things over the weekend which we haven't had a 50 package weekend in a very long time yeah it's where we want to be it is for sure and i'm very glad we shipped on saturday otherwise we would be like <sighs> yeah we work in a in our this is our master closet where we work and 50 is the max like we've never tried to do more than 50 but every time we have 50 it's like we can't move <laughs> uh okay here's some things i wanted to tell you okay before we move to ebay oh man All right. we added a pretty aggressive sale. We always have 15% off, but our sales last week were abysmal. Really so bad. we added, we went up to 25% off and then we added a 5% coupon. The coupon is key because you get a red banner in your store. Uh, we also listed, listed, listed desirable things every day. I kept relisting every day and I was manically cross -listing which we sold seven things and then uh, we sold five things on Poshmark today, but on Saturday we also sold five things. So that's 10 things over the weekend on Poshmark, which is like- That's pretty great. Great for us. Yeah. We don't typically sell that much on Poshmark. So those are some of the things that we did. No, eBay didn't reset our store or anything. I do think that the viewer sales helped us. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. They were repeat buyers. And for some reason, when we get repeat buyers, the algorithm kind of chugs along with us. You know, I think it's like, that's a good store. I think so. A lot of people are coming back. So thank you. If you're a viewer, thank you. I think it really did help push us through this weekend. Not all of viewer sales this weekend, but we did have a couple. And, but the ones on Friday and Saturday are fantastic. Thank you. Okay. Let's talk about the tampons. Okay. You guys saw when I picked these up. And if you're new, there's so many new people. Uh, I pick up stuff like these because I work in the movie industry and we are always looking for props, like legitimate props. This came from an estate sale for $1 and I was just waiting for the right buyer. And I really love that this is going to um, someone doing their master's thesis. She wrote a note. Oh, really? She's doing her master's thesis on women's care products and she was looking for just these. That's amazing this time period, this box, this label, this everything. And she was like so thrilled to find it. So I, I don't, it's not just tampons, anything with like, you know, that's cheap enough that has branding that yeah. I can see in a movie, I, I tend to pick up. Yeah. So these are still in there in the box. They're sealed, thank God. And um, the title was Vintage Tampax Tampons, Original Box 9 Count Movie Video Bathroom Prop 1960s, 70s. That's in my title. So if you're trying to sell to a props house, we talk about it a lot on here, you need to put it in your title. They have like 22 year olds searching for these props. Yeah, the art department interns. hires art just department. like, <laughs> they just hire <laughs> interns. And so they go and they're like tampon prop. <laughs> they type in like the most basic search that you could ever think of. And if yours comes up, they're gonna buy it. They're gonna buy the first thing they see because they don't care. This is going to something a little bit different, but I was aiming for a props house, right? So this sold for $19. I took her offer because how could I not? It's for her master's thesis. That's yeah. super, super cool. And I'm still making a pretty good profit. Five ounces. I probably, if it were going to a props house though, I could get 40. I oh, know for it. sure. Five yeah. ounces? Yeah. Those props houses, their budgets are not. Yeah, because they don't care. They They're do not, not going to submit an offer. They're just like, how much? 40 bucks? Perfect. Done. Yeah, they don't care. <laughs> okay, 7412. Should you, be. Are we here now? It should be in starting right here. Okay. It goes here, here, 
Yeah, this is the second time <laughs> this whole we might need to message the buyer. It, it came back. It has a zipper. <laughs> the zipper in here is concealed and it's really concealed. Oh, so yeah, the yeah. person tried it on and was like, I can't put this on. There's no way to put it on. They didn't see that it had a zipper. Because the zipper's like hidden here on the side. See? Yeah, it's on the side. So they returned it. Yep. It's the Brochu Walker skirt we sold last week. <laughs> it's a quick turnaround though. I know, super quick. This time it sold for twenty two forty six. Okay. And there you go. Um, and that's going to Texas. Cool. The title, in case you're wondering, is Brochu Walker size small Gina rouge faux leather pencil skirt black. If that was real leather, we would be charging a lot more for it. For sure. That brand, overall, I don't like to speak in blanket statements, but in this case overall that brand has gone down in value it's a very good brand but it's popping up at tj maxx burlington etc and when that happens you guys know what happens resale value kind of tanks in a little bit okay the majority of our first class clothing that we ship out goes in these 10 by 13 poly mailers yeah and we get them off of amazon yeah. i think that's 12 ounces or those are the ones we got at the estate sale and sold off. I think we sold those off to people. I don't know. All right. The next one is a viewer sale. Yes. This is a bundle going to our friend Naomi. Thank, Thank you. you so much. I right am so super stoked that you got these items because they're all really cool. I just picked these up at the thrift. We went to 50% off day. It's really the only time we've been thrifting as of late. And... Um, these are two Hot Topic dresses. One of them is like a lace goth prairie. I call, I call it whimsy goth. That's one of the terms that's really hot right now. It's beautiful. And then the other one, of course I picked it up because it has stars and moons on it. <laughs> and they're both from Hot Topic. Look how cool this is. This is like my favorite thing of life. <laughs> so I'm sure these two dresses were from the same person and I was happy to save them. And then the third is some Spanx black leggings crop stretch and those we sell them all day every day so i was really happy to have maybe naomi will wear them together oh yeah you know this is a really cool bundle so the spanks were 20 dollars. that's i think i sent out offers on this stuff and then the whimsy goth dress meaning it just has like a a waist here and it had some ruching up here a gathering so that it kind of looked like a prairie style but it was like gothic it's black you wouldn't expect you would expect it to be like you know cream colored with flowers no it's like the style of a prairie dress but in a gothic color it was pretty cool uh so i tend to pick up hot topic when it's cheap enough what I were, wonder. 1.99 for those i don't think so he's trying <laughs> Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't either. Um, and so the, the first Hot Topic dress went for 32 and the second one with the sun and the moons went for 22 46 Keep in mind that Hot Topic retail prices are not very high. So you can't, unless it's like a super rare piece, which we have encountered, or if it's Trip NYC and it's like a corset. Um, Hot Topic normally sells around 25 to 30 if it's like a cool style like that. So very happy with that. Thank you so much. We appreciate very much you. Very appreciated. All right, so this is 11.6, 2.5, So you need the dimensions of your box, even if it's a priority box, if it's over a pound. And this one definitely is over a pound. So you put the dimensions into eBay with the weight, and then it gives you the price. Um, we might start using UPS because we changed our shipping policy so that it's just expedited so we can choose whether it's UPS or priority mail. And um, sometimes UPS is cheaper with heavier things. Three pounds, six ounces. So we'll have Dan check because I'm sure we have a box that we could. UPS doesn't care about size of the box. He's like, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The next is Chico's. Oh, this was a cool little piece. Yeah. I like this. 
Chico's U size one, US eight. So I put both sizes with Chico's. It's called vanity sizing when a brand makes up their own size chart. Yeah. Yeah, I always pick up stuff like this. Somebody's gonna want this. Size one, US eight, twill. You wanna show them what a twill is? I'm trying. Twill fabric. If you can see it on the camera, that'd be great. If not, just look down at your jeans or your khaki pants you're wearing. Come out just a little bit. Yeah, see those diagonal lines where the white is? That's a twill. Khaki pants are twill. Most denim is twill. We're all looking at our clothes. Uh, so when you're in the drop-down menu in, e in eBay, twill, that's what that is. And, um, it's a little thicker. You know, it has that feeling of khaki pants. Anyway. Let me finish the title. Chico size one, US eight, twill, multicolor embroidered vest, art to wear, lag and look open. So art to wear and lag and look, we've talked about many times. They are not synonymous, but sometimes something can be both. And the reason I put art to wear on that is because it looks kind of collage-y. It looked a little mixed media-y. It looked like someone had made art to put on their body, right? Lag and look is a different thing in that it's a minimalist kind of like layered look and that is both that it's both it's both and because that's a vest so you'd have to wear it over something right and we get that cool minimal vibe even though it's a maximal <laughs> looking thing it's all for 15. 10. all right we sold two more starbucks shirts um did yes, you pull them? I did. So we got a bunch of these at the bins. They were all brand new. They're employee Black Lives Matter yeah. stand together this is shirts. Like on the back. They're all a size 3X. And if you guys know us and you do, they would never go to the dumpster. <laughs> yep. Never, ever, 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 ever. Um, yeah, so we somebody bought two of them. Love that. And they're going to Houston. Okay. So hopefully they're under a pound. Probably Maybe not. Because there's two. Um, so the title was Starbucks, size 3X, extra, extra large. I put both. So 3X and XXXL. Employee, Black Lives Matter, BLM, stand together, new. I didn't even put the word shirt. Oh, no, I did. Shirt, stand together, new. Um, and so this was, they sold for $11 each, so $22. We, I mean, have nothing into them. We have about 30 of these things left. Over a pound. That's okay. It's still Houston. Yeah. Um, and then they paid $4.99 each for shipping, so right. it should be okay. Yeah, we're totally fine sticking them to a pattern. I mean, the graphic on that shirt is just so cool. How could, there was just so many of them. We just got them all. It was <laughs> like a giant stack of them, yeah. Dan was like, you want them all, don't you? And I said, mm-hmm, I sure do. Um, okay. Yeah, I just gotta make it, take the pictures real quick. Okay. So I think I'm almost out of these ornaments. I had a huge, we call them junk bags, but they're really just, grab bags of these Hallmark ornaments that were in the box, new in box. And now I'm selling off all the Easter ones. I think all the Christmas ones are pretty much gone. I mean, I probably had 50 of these. Uh, this, yeah, I have 62 cents because I divided it to get the cost of goods for the whole bag. It was a huge bag. Okay. What are we doing, ornament? Yeah. And this is an Easter one. I guess some people have Easter trees. With like little Easter, um, I don't know. Somebody that bought one the other day was like, "This will f be great on my tree." Interesting. I guess they have Easter trees. Okay. Anyway, they're selling off. Hallmark keepsake Easter ornament. Here comes Easter, 1996 bunny, chick, trucks, eggs, and this sold for 4.87, which isn't the greatest flip of all time, but it is a conversion. And some of these went for more than others. And I'm just happy that sometimes a conversion leads to other sales. So they were easy enough to list because all I had to do was scan the barcode. I have a barcode scanner on my computer. And it just like reads numbers. It's nothing fancy. It costs $20. So I scanned the barcode, told me exactly what it was, and then I just pushed list. <laughs> <laughs> so easy. Okay. Small box. 
Uh, we do get our boxes from our neighbors. Sorry. We put a, a nice note on next door and man, these people provide. Sure do. It's been really great actually. So if you have a next door, maybe you put a little note out there like, hey everybody, I run a small business. I'm always looking, it's for us, it's small boxes. We can find big boxes. We have a plethora of big boxes. Yeah. Um, there's one guy that lives up the street who deals like Pokemon cards. I love when he puts his trash out. Yeah. <laughs> We're like, yes! Because <laughs> there are all these little boxes. Love it. Okay. Hallmark ornament. Six ounces. Okay, it's less than a pound, so you do not need the measurements, even though it's in a box. Right. Okay, the next, you know, our favorite thing of all time is Eileen Fisher. 6058, which is right here. Oh, I would love to show them the texture on this. Okay. Eileen Fisher, size medium, open cardigan, tunic, black, organic, linen, long sleeve, open knit. Oh, yeah, this thing's The texture cool. on this is fantastic. This is the older Eileen Fisher tag. But the age of the age of the garment really doesn't make much difference. Anyway, it's like white. <laughs> so it's a little bit translucent. Um, yeah. And this ribbed open knit is what we call this. You can find this at the store. Here's the hot tip. Here. Hot tip. Man, my hair is not a hot tip. The hot tip is that people cut the tag out of this. We have had so many of this exact sweater that we find, which is a high seller, but the tag is cut out because it's trans see through. Yeah. So people cut the tag out. But if you know what you're looking but for, they leave the fabric tag in the fabric tag. That's what I wanted you to show them. The fabric tag almost always is there. And so then you can identify it as Eileen Fisher. It says we want our clothes back. Yeah, it always all the, they always say something about green Eileen wanting their clothes bags so you can identify them really easily whether it's this long rectangular one or the shorter square one so you can do it you can find these for like a dollar because they'll keep getting reduced because they don't have a brand tag it doesn't matter if you know it's eileen fisher you can sell this sweater let me tell you the title so it will help you eileen fisher size medium open cardigan tunic black i already read you this organic <laughs> linen long sleeve open knit my brain just clicked in. Uh, it sold for $42. Nice. Yeah, those sweaters do really well because they're interseasonal. And as I always say, they're part of the system. They can go with all other Eileen Fisher pieces. You can mix and match them. I did not put system in the title here, but if I had had enough characters, I certainly would have. And uh, not all Eileen Fisher cardigans are created equal either some of these cardigans were selling for 20 and 26 dollars just to get them out of here because they're just not as desirable this one i think because it's black because it's interseasonal i think that's why it went for 42 13 peter millar again hey, uh, going to dallas right oh my god right down the street i get hand deliver it yeah peter millar we do not do that don't do that don't do that don't do that <laughs> it's a joke <laughs> Peter Millar collection, size small, linen blend, polo shirt, gray beige. And it says collection on it, I believe. It does. It does. Let's see. Yeah. These uh, knit polos are like super in still. If you can find them, this is a linen blend, so that's great. Uh, this sold for $20. Like I said, that's normal for Peter Millar in our experience. Okay, the next one, maybe we should wait till the end. That's the one we have to wrap. Okay. Yeah, let's wait. Where's the other one? It combined all into four because they were all they were all under the same shipping address. When I hit combine and put them all together. Oh, so Patricia bought four things yes. for her mother. Yes. Oh, okay. So we're sending out a birthday present for our viewer, Patricia, for her 95-year-old mother, which I, you, know, if you know me, you know I love to wrap a present. Like, <laughs> I got all the little wrappings out here. We're going to make birthday time. Birthday bundle. Birthday bundle. All right, but we're going to do it at the end yep. because 
One, two, three, four. Uh, the next is a bra from Wackel. And the title is Wackel Size 34B Women's Body by Wackel Underwire Bra 65124, which is on the tag. Racer back, brand new attack. This was like the $5 something estate sale, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, five fifty-five or something. Yeah. Uh, this sold for twenty dollars, and I'm very happy. It's just a regular bra. Uh, the industry, the fashion industry, and our channel, the Reach Beyond. We are no longer calling this color nude ever again in the history of ever. Don't do that. We're gonna. We are the change we want, right? This isn't everybody's nude. Right? We're gonna call this beige, we're gonna call this tan, we're gonna call it anything but nude. Anything but. The only time you should use the word nude is if like birthday suit, like no clothes. <laughs> Nudity. <laughs> 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 I'm cracking myself up over you. Yes. All right, that guy is three ounces. Another Eileen Fisher. Surprise, surprise. Someone in our Facebook group was like, yes, mama, I'm finally selling my Eileen Fisher. They said they listened to the tips. I'm not sure which tips. Give them all. This Eileen Fisher size medium knit maroon open front cardigan. Again, merino wool, thin, long sweater. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This one only sold for 20. It Even is not. Merino? Yes. Oh. Yes. It's not about the fibers necessarily. It's about like how many different ways you can wear it, I think. And this is a pretty specific type cardigan. It looked almost the same, but it was tight knit. It had some rufflage going on, I think. Nine ounces. Nine ounces, but 20 bucks. So there it goes. How much do we have into it? Six fifty nine. That was from an estate sale. Yep. So that's teaching me what these things are worth, right? Because I'm getting, this stuff has been listed since December and I'm getting offers on it now. And I didn't get offers on it then. And so it's teaching me what's worth $20 versus what's worth $42 in the cardigan space. We're really good at pants. We know what they're worth. Speaking of, <laughs> more white pants. Lafayette 148, New York, women's size 12, pants, white, bleaker, dress pants, split hem. We just listed these last week. And they sold for $40. Oh, they're going to Wiley, so that's good. Sweet. Um... 40 bucks is great. If you are learning about Lafayette 148, there's a Google Doc link below that's like my worksheet. I'm trying to figure out all the different styles of pants. They're not all on there, but there's a lot and it's free and you can use it. If you come into some Eileen fit, I mean some Lafayette 148 pants. Um, oh, we just sold something on eBay. Nice. Another pair of black pants. Sweet. <laughs> Oh no, two more pairs of black pants. Yes. Oh, this is a really good sale. We'll save it for tomorrow. Yes. Um, oh, that's fantastic. Okay. Okay, those are 15. I keep telling you that Lafayette 148's having its moment. It's still yep. happening. It's Eileen Fisher again. <laughs> Do we sound like a broken record yet? <laughs> Eileen Fisher, size extra large, heavy organic linen, <clears throat> mandarin jacket, undyed natural snaps. This thing's super cool. Yeah, can we show? Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. This sold for $100. Woohoo! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> We're working on our April sound effect button. <laughs> okay. So. Oh. I know it's. Oh, what? No. Saw it the first thing that came out. Nah. I see it. I'm gonna have to do something about that. Okay. Oh, there's a thing here too. Is it the natural? I think we had this I think conversation. It's the natural. Here comes the Roomba. Oh Lord. Everything is happening. <laughs> I gotta go stop the Roomba. Get the door. I'm. But I. Okay. Okay. You you, you talk. Stop I'll the, get the door. Okay. Well, no. Stop the Roomba because I have stuff everywhere, on the floor. Okay. Okay. This is a size extra large. Uh, this is a mandarin color it stands tall um when you wear it it's like this it's more flat you know what i mean that's called a mandarin collar it has these really these are called whopper poppers in the industry i don't know whopper what popper 
has these really large snaps that are fabric covered and this is an indicator of quality. All right, so if you're at the bins and there's no brand, you know it might be quality when you see that because normally you'd just be like exposed. This takes a lot of work to cover your snaps. Yep. Okay, hold that up for me. There are some little spots on this, but I think we dis discussed that it was part of the natural weave of this, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, because there's, there's some there's some on the back too. No. No, these are like okay. I might try to baby wipe it. We might have a thing. Okay, this is called a split hem right here. So this is so that your legs can move. This is a jacket because it has these big pockets right here. These are patch pockets that are attached to the front. This is also a patch pocket up here. It's got a little bit of a lab coat look to it. We, this style does really well in Eskandar. I mean, like two thousand dollars really well. This is Eileen Fisher, so it's it's. I need, I need like a magnifying glass. <laughs> so here's what I'm talking about, you guys. I think this is the natural linen. Linen has natural imperfections, and I think that this spot is woven into the garment. And if I can look at it through a magnifying glass or like a bright light, <clears throat> we're gonna, can you give me a light? It looks like a thread. I swear to goodness gracious, it's a thread. And what I don't wanna do is scrub on a natural linen, okay? Because it's gonna leave When I say natural linen, all linen is natural. What I'm referring to is the fact that this is not dyed. It's definitely the thread. I think so too. Absolutely, 100%. I'm like trying can, to like, yeah. your eyes are better than mine. Maybe we should tell her though, before we get a return on this. There's like, maybe I did. Hold on, I remember, I remember having a conversation about this. <clears throat> see here what number are you six zero seven six so the linen plant comes out looking yeah, like this i think it's fine i think it's totally good um heavy organic linen yep So this was originally listed at 149, but with the discount of our sale, it did sell for a hundred. And I'm really happy with that. Yeah. I did have a stock photo for it, so I knew exactly what it was, which is rare for Eileen Fisher. <laughs> I normally don't and can't find stock photos. The padded flower, yeah. 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 Okay, so the next thing is another Eileen Fisher piece. <laughs> I'm not saying that you should go out and buy all Eileen Fishers. I'm just saying that if you specialize in a certain brand, double down, triple down, quadruple down on it, and that's what we do. We just buy every Eileen Fisher we can find, yep. and, and then we sell it. But this might be American Eagle jeans for you, or it might be Bone China. I don't know. Just get good at something and do a lot of it. Is this supposed to be white pants? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. Eileen Fisher, size large, tensile, ponty knit, cropped pants, trousers, white, ankle pocket. This is a ponty, which is, I, I said before, really heavy, thick, four-way stretch material. Tensile is another word for lyocell. Uh, if you are washing, like if these had a stain on them or something and you were washing tensile, you have to put it in the dryer. I don't put anything in the dryer, okay, except socks and underwear and Dan's undershirts. That literally is the only thing that goes in our dryer. And lyocell. <laughs> for some reason, it gets really stiff and crunchy if you don't put it in the dryer. It needs the heat to like relax. It's a man-made fiber. What? 
Um, it's a man-made fiber, so it has certain qualities that keep it feeling soft, and the dryer is one of those. <laughs> Do we only charge four ninety nine? Mm-hmm. It's going to Idaho. Yeah. I messed up on that. Sometimes it happens. So what should we do? We're gonna have to put it in a flat rate. Okay. We're gonna have to eat that couple of bucks. Eat the couple of bucks. He sold for thirty six dollars. But I only charge four ninety nine shipping and we're gonna have to eat three dollars and thirty cents. They're one ounce over. Yeah. We actually sold two Johnny Wuzzeses. This is a Johnny Wuzz women's size small blue tank top long style bohemian basic. Not all Johnny Wuzz is a hundred dollar find. It's just not. Um, in fact, we left some Johnny Wuzz behind at the thrift this weekend, which never happens. This yeah, sold for nineteen dollars because it's just plain. It's just a plain tank, like super plain. <laughs> but still 19 bucks uh what do we have into it 99 cent we got it at the bins bins tank bins was <laughs> jw bins <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness and then the next thing we sold is also johnny was and it is not your typical johnny was and i was not sure that it was going to sell at all we got it at a estate sale i'm going to show it to you after this and um oh it's a trip it's a fun one all right this guy three ounces all right here it is here it is this is vintage johnny was women's size large orange t-shirt maxi dress embroidered sun 1990s usa yeah, okay 90s made in the usa this is a maxi t-shirt <laughs> <laughs> Maxi. T are you gonna show them please show them yeah 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 okay. i couldn't believe that this was johnny was it was at a fill a bag and nobody had grabbed it i don't know if they knew it was johnny was because the tag looks different but it's definitely johnny was Ooh. look at this chiffon situation happening at the bottom here yes mama <laughs> i was like okay it's like a really long maxi t-shirt <laughs> here's the, the super awesome graphic and then look at this old tag johnny was <laughs> what is why is this his why is it in quotes instead of will be johnny has been <laughs> uh it sold for $35. Okay. The reason I wasn't sure it would sell, because there was a ton of listed ones, like a ton. And so while we were listing this, I think it was live, I was like, I'm going to sell this with keywords. Another thing that someone said in our Facebook group today, that their sales have gone up because they started using better keywords. Yeah. So I always take it as a challenge when there's a lot listed and a few sold. I'm like, if there was none sold, I would not have listed it. That's the difference, okay? There was a few sold. There was just a lot more listed. And I was like, I got it for, what did we pay? Um, 99 cents. 99 cents because it was a fill a bag. So I was like, okay, I'll try it. And if it doesn't sell in six months, I'll take it down. So I started with vintage because that's a trending thing now. Vintage Johnny was fine. Women's size large. T-shirt maxi dress is also. Embroidered is trending. And sun and celestial things is trending. So I was like, sun. <laughs> the 90s are trending. So I put 90s. And sometimes people like USA. So I put that. I just like keyword it yep. and there were many others in the same size in the same situation in our sold 14 okay. next is ralph lauren purple label which yes. is our other favorite thing to sell ever of all time yes. and this is um this is a lesson in offer negotiation situations oh these are sweet these are the coolest bands so the title is Ralph Lauren Purple Label, which is the highest end label. Women's size medium, black merino wool, slim pants, moto zip. And there's no no question that that is purple. Yeah, it's purpley purple, purple. Like super. Uh, we went back and forth with this lady. I think it was a lady. I'm not sure. And um, 
$50, $60, but we knew the value of these pants. The lowest we were going to take was 100 because they are so high quality and the zippers are just stunning on them. And so on eBay, they give you like five chances to go back and forth. And on the last chance, we just put 100. Guess who bought them at 100? <laughs> right? If somebody wants something badly enough, sometimes sticking to your guns works. Yeah. I know you're going to be like, Amy, you just told me that $200 dress was only worth $200 because that's what somebody would pay for it. Yeah, that had been listed two years and had no comps. We sell purple label Ralph Lauren pants all day, every day for $100. We know how much they're worth. I'm talking when you don't know the worth of something, right? We knew minimum these are worth, we are probably worth 150. I mean, yeah. So the minimum we were willing to take was 100 and then she came up and paid that. And if she had walked away, we would have been okay because somebody else would have come and paid that for these pants. Yeah. Happy that she got them though. Okay, better flat rate. See that Ponty knit, it's, it's heavy. Gotta be careful. Next is Hamilton hoodie. We get everything Hamilton branded. I got this at the bins, Hamilton the musical on Broadway. Um, it's missing the drawstring, but that's fine. The merch at Hamilton was like 80 bucks for a hoodie. It was yeah. crazy. So some people just go on eBay to find it. Uh, this was missing the drawstring, but I knew it would still sell and it did sell for $20. I think we charge eight ninety nine for shipping. Right, and you, I mean, it says on the tag, this is the legit merch from the show. Yeah. There you go. Um, six, eight, nine, eight. I realize I haven't been telling you stuff. I'm sorry, you guys. All of the stuff that I've been doing in the last page has been newly listed. Um, this was, yeah, this was listed on 314, 2023. So, like, two weeks ago. 20 bucks, but it was from the bins and it didn't go to the dumpster. I can't let musical theater stuff go to the dumpster. <laughs> Who would I be? Okay. 13 ounces. Okay, next is CNC California. This brand is at Nordstrom Rack, so I was always a little questioning on it, but for some reason it's having a moment as well. Yep. We are selling... That's the big boy. Yeah, we're selling... It's a big hoodie, like, really, really cool. It's kind of like the hoodie I'm wearing, actually. This is Aviator Nation, if you're not familiar with the multicolored stripes. Aviator Nation is like, super, definitely pick it up. Super hot right now, yeah. Yeah, I can't believe I'm even wearing this. I don't wear expensive things. Okay, so CNC California, I used to think it was like a cheapo something brand, and it is, but it sells really well. Yeah, this, this is, oh, this is nice. That looks super comfy. Yeah. This is CNC California women's plus size 2X long sleeve V-neck Kaya hoodie Canyon tulip. I think the color was tulip. This is over a pound. So the person paid $26.21 plus $8.99 shipping for this hoodie that we got at the bins. Yes. We've sold CNC like tank tops, just regular black, like a camisole, like yeah. a regular old, like something you would get at H&M for $4.99. We sold it for like 20 bucks. Something is happening with CNC. I don't know. That's all I can tell you. I don't know anything other than CNC California sells very quickly for us. Right now. It didn't used to. Remember we had that stuff forever and then all of a sudden it just was like pew pew pew. Everyone yep. started buying it. Yep. Kind of like Lafayette 148. Something switched. The same thing with Club Monaco is happening right now too. We had Club Monaco sit in our closet literally for four years <laughs> and then it all sold the same week. And now we don't have any more because we stopped picking it up because it wasn't good, and now it's great. Sounds good again. Pick up Club Monaco. That, that you heard it here. I wish we could find some. Six, seven. Is Club Monaco retail back, or is it gone still? I don't know. Because it... No, I don't even have any idea. Uh, this CNC California was listed one month ago. Okay, going in the padded flat rate. And I think we have 99 cents into it, right? Yeah. We average our cost of goods at the bins, and somehow it's always right around 99 cents. Or less. Or less, but we just call it 99 cents just to know it's bins. Uh, okay, next is Soft Surroundings, which is like another great brand, but we don't pay up for it, ever. Yeah. And this was on an estate sale, so we might have. This is Soft Surroundings Women's Petite Medium PM Teal Marcy Shirt Button. There is a style number on Soft Surroundings. I think I mentioned it earlier. So you can easily find out what it's made of. 
I mean, with the stylus, this is 100% tensile. Lyocell, same thing. Yeah. Put it in the dryer. It's what, tensile is what uh, they make chambray shirts out of. This is a cool shirt. Yeah. Um, it sold for $14, which is way lower than we would normally take for something like this. I'm not sure whether we just had it a long time. I don't know what's happening. I think I just was... You were just like, I'll take out all the offers. Oh, yeah, I did scream that, didn't I? <laughs> um, 7261. We're trying to sell stuff. Yeah, this was listed on February 16th of 2023. I mean, I, I would expect to get like 25, so it's not that bad, but... 14 is pretty low. Mm. Hey, 14. This next piece I love. It's also soft surroundings. Yep. This is stunning. I mean, actually, if this was Johnny Was, it'd be worth $100. Easy. But yeah. it's not Johnny Was, but it looks like Johnny Was. Soft surroundings, sarge, size large, Cristoforo, shirt dress, caftan, midi, iceberg green, boho. Right. Not, the, Look at not this. so much on the front. But the back is where it's at. Look at this. And these tassels. Oh my god. This is all embroidery. A caftan is like a straight dress. It think of like Mama Cass, that kind of a thing. Caftan uh was really big in the sixties, late sixties, early seventies. It's like a it's like a maxi dress but without much shape to it. Really, really cool. That relaxed vibe. Um, this sold for $29. I'm telling you, if it was Johnny Was, it would be 100 Really cool piece. Really yep. happy that the person got it. There was a, I did use a stock photo. I do often use stock photos for soft surroundings. Don't do as I do, or <laughs> just make your own choices. Do it at your own risk. Mm -hmm. How much do we pay for that? Three ninety nine. So I think that was thrifted. We do not do what most people do and bring in and then put everything into a spreadsheet. We don't do that. We we couldn't. We're just not those people. No. We do record what how much we paid for it, but not in a spreadsheet. Thirteen. We tried that for like literally like three days and we're like, nope. Nope. Not gonna work. Okay. Uh, the next. I feel like a broken record. I know, right? Eileen Fisher. Um, women, size 1X, black, viscose, stretch, jersey, boat neck, top shirt. Sold for 20 bucks. Nice. So this is the new Eileen Fisher tag? Newer. Newer. It's still not the newest. That needs to be lint rolled, friend. Yeah, it does. Okay. <laughs> I, I saw like a pet hair. Not our pet, but a pet hair on it. Um, a boat neck is a neckline that's longer and like sits on the outside of your shoulders. It's more of a, it's not, I want to say square. The way you cut it when you're doing a pattern is more long so that it's, the opening is wider and it normally sits like up here. Some people really like boat neck. If you have like sexy clavicles, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you just never know. Show it off. Uh, 20 bucks is pretty good for a, a standard basic t-shirt. That's what this is. I said black visco stretch jersey. That is code for t-shirt. All right. Um, the next thing. Oh. Is a lovey. And we talk about these all the time. And this isn't one to write home about necessarily. We buy all loveys. But what I want to tell you is that the reach of a lovey is so freaking incredible. This is <laughs> a sloth lovey from Cloud Island, which I believe is Target. And um, wow. uh, 11 ounces on these. This I'm... is going to Australia. Yes, it is. So the, they only paid $7 for the dang whatever this is, the yeah. sloth. Is this a sloth? Yeah. Okay. They paid seven bucks for this. Whatever. But in shipping, they paid like $25 or something 27. crazy. 
27, actually. When you need a lovey, you need a lovey. Give me that slot. So now. when the offer came through for seven, I think I had a list at 10, and I saw it was from Australia. I was like, absolutely. Like, I am not going to nickel and dime you when you were paying three times as much in shipping. Yeah. Um, so a lovey is just a stuffed animal attached to a blanket, and kids love them. And when they go missing and you're in Australia... You do anything to replace it. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know. Can you fit into a little four four four? Yeah. I'm so excited to wrap these presents. We don't do any custom wrapping at all. I know some people get on us about that. Like they wrap everything in tissue with bows and string and <laughs> 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 No, if it doesn't make us money, we don't do it. But for Patricia's 95-year-old mother, we're We'll make an it. exception. I am so happy to send Patricia's mom this one. Over the moon happy, and she supports us in so many ways. The least we can do is wrap her mother's birthday presents. So exciting. <laughs> going down under, mate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We don't really list anything in our store for less than 20 bucks, really, with the exception of loveys and those Christmas ornaments. We did, in the past, used to list basically anything and everything, and we have stopped doing that now. So when you see something that sells for a very low price, know that it's we're either trying to perform a public service or it came in a junk bag. <laughs> and with loveys, it's always a public service. It's also kind of like gambling because we don't look them up. We just buy everyone. And some of them are worth 50. Some of them are worth seven. Yep. And you never know till you look it up at home. And you've already, once you've already looked it up, you know what it is. You might as well list it. All right. This guy in his little box, 444, six ounces. Okay. It's less than a pound, but since it's going international, you do need the dimensions. Yep. Okay. Lafayette 148. Again, broken record. Man. Size 12, brown linen, cupro, military style utility jacket with pockets. Okay, mama. I feel okay. Like we just listed this. We really did, and this is a cool coat. This thing is sweet. And we got this at an estate sale. This is the utility situation because it has pockets at the bottom and at the top. Mm -hmm. It's got mm -hmm. a concealed zipper going down the middle of it. Nice. It is. Um, the Lafayette 148 tag hasn't really changed that much, and I don't find it does any better or differently new versus older. Yeah. It's, it's all pretty much equal, similar to Eileen Fisher. That's a cool code. Uh, it sold for $74.96. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, we did just list this. One, two, four, seven. That's another thing that helps with the algorithm. If you list stuff that is selling quickly, I think the algorithm likes that a lot. That's just in my observation. This was listed February 15th. It's a month ago. And some people think that if it doesn't sell overnight or within a day, it's not great. I, I think 90 days is what we're aiming for in resell. Yeah. 14. You've got to wait for the right person to need it. Here. Oh, right, right as you say that, it's going to collapse. It's going Jenga. <laughs> okay, uh, this is Soft Surroundings. Wow, we sold a lot of the same brands. Yeah, over Soft over. Surroundings, Eileen Fisher, Lafayette 148. Picking up on But you know names. what? We're listing a bunch of those brands. That's exactly right. <laughs> That's exactly right. So if you don't have these brands, it's okay. Find your three brands that you can list over and over and over again that have a high sell-through rate. High meaning there are a lot of solds and potentially yep. less listed. This is pretty cool. This is like a lightweight. This is called gauze. Gauze. <laughs> gauze. Gauze. <laughs> We've sold this same shirt so many times. Get your face out. <laughs> <laughs> Amateur hour. Soft surroundings, plus size, 3X, Biscayne, gauze. Gauze. I can't say this word. Gauze. Gauze, tunic top, navy, boxy, brush, <laughs> brush cotton. Uh, this sold for 20 bucks. This is new without tags. Obviously, it has the button. I didn't put that, but I could have. 
Uh, we normally get about 25 to 30 for this top, but 20 bucks it is. Like I said, I was taking the offers. <laughs> this was the first thing we sold after shipping. So I was just like, let's go, let's go weekend. Yeah. Ten. All right, now we're gonna do a four part bundle for Patricia's mom. Yeah. Whose name is Jean. I'm so excited. Yes. Okay, the first thing Jean's getting is let's go through the items first and then we're gonna package them. This is a hat by Sloggers. I love this hat. That's a sweet hat. It is so cool. It's like a sun hat and um, it has like the. Oh, so cool. Yeah. Okay, and then some Chico's Travelers. Floppy, floppy hat. 7303, the slinky traveler pants that we keep mentioning. Uh, these are new with tags. Yes, and this is the traveler pant. They're pull on, and these are a navy version, but they are just so slinky and amazing. Okay, we're gonna not put these in these bags because we're wrapping them. Okay. So we're gonna make it up nice. Okay. So it looks like it came from a store. Oh. Real store. All right. Um, and then this is Zach and Rachel pleated coral button down top with three quarter sleeves. I'll take this off of here. Oh, this looks nice already. <laughs> um, this is one of the first things we've ever listed. Um, and I don't know about this brand at all. I just don't know. So this is gonna need a ticket. Okay. What this is, is just a button down shirt. It's folded up very nicely. These are called pin tucks. What's the number? 11 what? Um, hold on. Uh, 1177. And then. Oh, this is so nice. Oh my gosh. She's going to love this. <laughs> I bought this at an estate sale because I wanted it for myself, but it was not my size. Don't think I didn't try it on because I sure did. Okay, this is the D&Co Natural Size Medium Double Knit Hoodie and Knit Pants Set oh, Dusty yeah. Teal. You love this thing. This is the most gorgeous lounge athleisure wear you've ever seen. Yeah, this is like the mystery one. We were like, this is feels nice. This has to, we have to buy this. It, felt, it feels like St. John. Like, it's so nice. It's like the hoodie. Look at this. She's going to love this. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> oh my gosh. This is, this is the perfect gift. You're going to, you, you're going to be the best daughter. Okay. So we're going to wrap all this stuff up. We've got two full outfits. We should wrap it by outfit. Totally. Okay. So we, I couldn't find any wrapping paper. The wrapping paper has gone missing. Oh no. But we have some tissue paper and some, and we need a box. Okay. Oh, see, I got these gift bags. Mm. I was like, maybe she wants a gift bag. Whatever, we can use a large mailing box. Because she definitely not a flat rate. Right? I gotta wait to see what kind of box to see how we're gonna wrap these. Large mailing box. It's cramped in here. Okay. A little bit. A little bit. Even with the whatever this is gonna cost, I think there's enough to send a little bit of a refund once it's all said and done. Okay, so maybe, I don't know if this gift bag is going to fit in that box. If it oh. does, we'll try it. If it doesn't, I, I have see tissue see paper. See okay. Is this too, yeah. Okay, so we can't use that. I'm thinking because of the hat. Oh, right. Where's the hat? Right here. Okay, can, I, can this all fit in there? The hat is floppy. Wait, we have so a bunch of clothes. The hat can, the hat can go. <laughs> Y'all, the hat 
can fit. Yeah, but you're right with all the... Uh, yeah, I don't know how this is exactly going to work. I think we need to put it in a box and send it UPS. Sure. Okay, whew, it's getting hot in here. We have a big box. We have plenty of large boxes. But they're all over here. We're in the, the bigger ones are over there, yeah. these two together like this yeah oh not that color no you can't do pink with this color. all right <laughs> do the do the um i like where your head's at though here i'll do this you see because it clashed i didn't like it like clashing hey 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 what's going on here way you can do this from retailers where you don't have to tape it. I don't know the way. I'm sure I did at one point. Worked enough retail in my life. Okay. Very so noise. One package. No wait 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 wait. Friend. Oh, you're putting it in a bag. And yes. 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 I got this all planned out. Just gotta let me. Okay, which color is not gonna clash? Yellow will be good. Oh, this is big. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. that's big up. This is gonna be the other outfit. Very nice. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so excited. portion yes. of the video. Please thumbs up for the crinkles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. Oh, and ribbon too. We have to use that Yes. Yes. <laughs> so cute. Okay, does the hat fit in this bag as well? Yes, yes. So if we here, let's stand that on up and I can put some tissue. Yeah, there you go. Bag. There you go. That's gonna work. How about teal? I like it. Oh yeah, with the nighttime sky. Oh yes. So we're going to lay this in here to cover up the hat first. Hey, don't smush it yet. I told you I had to plan out in my head. Oh, 
I think it works. Yes. Yes, yes. Perfect. So excited for this birthday present. We have a happy birthday sticker. Dang. Closing it. Okay. 16, 11, 12. Whoa, 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 whoa. 16 by 11 by 12. And let's do the weight on that. All right. I'm glad we got started early because, whoop. I know. I have a feeling about it. Someone mentioned us at eBay thrift stores today. What? Really? Like unprompted? Yeah. <laughs> so sometimes people, if there's this group called eBay thrifters on Facebook, join at your own risk because people are mean. Oh. Four pounds, fifteen ounces. Perfect. I think that's gonna be the easiest. Um, and they ask like, "What's a good YouTube?" I'm sick of watching my old YouTubers. And I mean, we've been on YouTube for like four or five years now. No one ever mentioned us. And someone did today. Yay! I was like, what? That's so amazing. An organic mention. I know. I couldn't believe it. All right. almost 300 on Saturday. So we'll add that to the weekend total. Hopefully, I think we're sending out over 50 packages total. Could be the best weekend ever. I don't know, hopefully. It's all about the profit though, you know? Yeah. Dan's using in the bulk shipping on eBay. That's what we do. And it allows us to print out a scan sheet, which our post office loves. I know it's a little polarizing. Some people just don't like scan sheet. <laughs> don't bother us. I guess if it messed with our workflow, it would be annoying. I mean, you can print out a scan sheet even if you don't use the bulk shipping tool. Yeah, even I've heard that. if you buy them one by one, you can still print out and use the scan form. How do you do that if you print one by one? Um, I believe it's in the shipping labels screen, but I, I don't know the exact link because I haven't I haven't done it that way before. Interesting. Five labels. Okay. So, but that's not how many items because we had a couple bundles. Right. 
So it's good to think about. And we had seven go out on Poshmark and Macari. So it's 32 packages at least. And then some of those are bundles. So I think we definitely hit over 50. We'll see on uh, Vendu. I'll do what we sold today and then I'll add in Saturday in the custom. We'll see. All right, ready? Yeah. The box of tampons. That's an ornament. Okay, hold on. We gotta find tampons. Vintage tampons. Seven four one two. Back wall. Back wall. <laughs> Box for Naomi. Naomi. Thank you. Thank you. Eight five two padded flat rate Starbucks rates. Five three ornament. Six zero five eight. This normally happens. We get a really good weekend after a horrible week. Yep. The box for Jean. Yes. Birthday box. Did you end up going UPS route? With Absolutely. It? Seven nine two. Seven two three three. Seven three six two. Seven two six two and seven three six two. Uh -oh. I know. Yikes. Padded flat rate six zero seven six. Padded flat rate. Oh. Flood rate six five seven eight. Six seven eight seven. Six 
Seven eight seven pattern flat rate. Six eight nine eight. Pattern flat rate. Six seven nine four. Seven two six two. Okay. So, Whoa. Sorry, I'm afraid that one had the wrong number on the listing. Six five one two. Six five four five. Seven two four seven. Six two one two. Remember on your shipping form, your label prints last if it's international. Yep. Three three seven zero. This is the international. And it doesn't print on your scan form either. Right. <clears throat> All righty. Hey. Okay. I'm going to go drop this stuff off, and then we'll see how much profit we made on these sales. Be right back. Bye. Picnic coming running. Oh, yeah. Oh, there she is. Come on over here. Come on. Yeah, I know. I know. Yes. One more. Ready? There you go. There you go. Okay. Okay. I just did it. Today. Okay. Man. 38 items. Oh. That. that is okay. a strong showing. That is just for basically... Because ever since we started filming, you guys... We have we have sold for tomorrow's video. We have one new offer. Okay, we don't. We've sold five things, and four are ready for payment. So this is just Saturday afternoon and Sunday and Monday morning. So when we combine it, so eight hundred seventy dollars profit. Wow. When we combine it with Saturday, so all the way through Monday. There we go. There we go. These are the numbers we're talking about. Last week was so horrible, but on the weekend we sold 53 items. 37.40 is our average sale price. Remember that includes shipping, so take about five to eight dollars off that. But 30 bucks is still healthy. Sure is. Um, yeah, that's that's better. Let's look at the month to date. We're still trying to make nine thousand a month. That's the goal, anyway. Hey, but we broke six. We broke six, and hopefully we can at least break into seven, which is what our average is. Like, if we look 
year to date. Hey, that's nice. For three months. If we can get this up to 24 for three months. Yeah. That would be um, better. <laughs> sure would. Yeah. Um, but we're already into 7000 a month territory, which is $1,000 more a month in profit than last year. Yep. And as long as we're improving, I mean, that's... that's and I like here. this number on Vendu because it tells yes. you 892 sold items compared to last year. At the same point, we're only at 656. Yeah, we're moving more more inventory. We're also... Great. Look at this, though. We're also listing a ton more. Yeah. A ton more. Yeah. So that's something to be aware of as well. Guys, thank you very much for hanging out with us. We really do appreciate it. I'm trying to be taller. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> uh, we'll see you live listing tonight on eBay on the other channel, which, as always, is linked in the description down below. 7 to 10 p.m. Central Time. Come Going hang out. Going long.